Secrets Royal Beach Putacana. This is one of the best hotels in the entire area. When I booked this place, it was number two overall on TripAdvisor. It's one of the classiest, one of the most luxurious, and one of the most popular. It's also one of the most romantic. It's couples haven, but that's not gonna keep me away. I'm told the restaurants are tremendous, the beach is outstanding, and the pools are spectacular. Let's check this place out. This is Coolest Luxury Hotels, Secrets Royal Beach, Putacana. All right, Secrets Royal Beach, Punta Cana, one of the best of the best at Punta Cana, one of the most elegant, one of the classiest, probably the most romantic, and one of the most popular, probably for all those reasons. Uh, it is also quite expensive. It's one of the most expensive hotels here in Punta Cana. I booked the cheapest room because I wanted to see what the Secrets experience was like. Uh, it is this junior suite. I'm gonna give you a room tour in just a second. Before I do that, I gotta say that first impressions of this property, were outstanding. I just came from TRS Turquesa, and I thought that was a decent property, a solid five-star property. This blows it out of the water. The lobby was much more grand, much more dramatic, more sensational, and more spectacular. There is a bar and wait staff to serve you if you want to have a drink while you check in, and there is a preferred lounge as well. I'll tell you about preferred guest access later in this video. Let me show you this room. Okay, so let me show you the bathroom. Uh, there are a couple standout features and then one major drawback. Uh, a standout would be this large jetted tub. Definitely room for two people. There better be, it is secrets. Uh, this entire back wall of marble, that is quite luxurious. And then the peculiar thing is the single vanity. I just stayed at TRS Turquesa and that hotel was half the price of secrets. Even that had a dual vanity. So. This single vanity is a bit alarming. You do have a shower, and then you also have a water closet as well. That's pretty much it for the bathroom. And as we move into the main room, uh, the major feature is this bed. I think it's memory foam. It feels like memory foam. It's soft, it's supple, it's supportive. It's basically sensational. And then I think the coolest feature is the wood headboard that not only takes up the entire wall, it takes up a good part of the ceiling as well. That is a bed experience. And then lastly, of course, I have to show you the balcony. This is the preferred tower. Again, I'll talk about the preferred guest access, what that costs and what that gets you later in this video. Uh, but here you have a view of the quiet pool. There you have a view of the standard pool. And then you also have a view of the beach and the ocean. As we look down, these are what the swim up suites look like. So if you buy a swim up suite, you're on the first floor you get your own little private pool for a dip whenever you want. All right, so that is it for my very brief room rundown of the cheapest room, my junior suite at one of the most romantic and one of the most expensive hotels in Punta Cana, Secrets Royal Beach. I am here for four nights and I bought preferred guest access, which means I get the best of the best this property has to offer. I'm in the better tower. I have access to different restaurants different pools, different lounges, different bars. It's around $100 a day. Was it worth it? Is it worth it? We're gonna find out. All right, night number one here at Secrets Royal Beach. I'm so excited to be here. This place is absolutely five-star luxury. This pool area at night is stunning. All right, there are at least four amazing restaurants on site. I think I'm gonna work my way up. Tonight, I'm gonna start with the American Grill. It's called Blue Water, and uh, it has on menu a 16 ounce, a one pound cheeseburger. That's probably going to happen. Before that, I think I'm gonna check out the activity tonight. Outside the lobby, every night at 9 p.m., there's a certain type of activity uh, or show. I guess tonight it's like a belly dancing show. There's a bar out there, it's outdoors, it's festive. It's supposed to be a lot of fun.
right, day number two. It's my first official full day, but technically day number two here at Secrets. And I woke up, it was cloudy, it was gloomy, and I was hoping that it would kind of move away and it has gotten worse. In fact, it's, it's raining. And that's the one big drawback of any tropical destination is that when it rains, it really severely limits on what you can do. So I'm gonna figure that out. I'll talk about that in a second, but I do wanna talk about last night very quickly. Uh, first of all, that nine o'clock show, I think everybody, at the entire resort showed up for that show. It was a hoopla, it was a festival, and it looked to be a really good time. I had dinner reservations, so I didn't really stick around, but it looked like it went for about an hour. People sitting down, watching the show, having some drinks. It was uh, it was pretty cool. Then, dinner, Blue Water Grill. It was a slice of Americana. If you're looking for your American grill here in Punta Cana, this place was it. That burger was insane. And not only was it insane in size, it was insane in taste. Definitely the best piece of food I've had all trip and I'm looking forward to seeing what more of these restaurants look like. All right, so that brings me to right now, it's afternoon and I plan on having an entire day at the beach or at the pool that didn't work out. So I think to salvage today, I might go check out the Preferred Club Lounge. There's a lounge here only for Preferred Club guests. So I wanna check that out. And maybe I'll do a buffet or something just to pass the time. If it doesn't work out, that just means I have two full days left and there's a lot to do. I have the secret pool, I have the regular pool, I have the infinity pool, I have the beach, I have the lazy river bar. All right, night number two here at Secrets Royal Beach Punta Cana. It rained all day today, it happens. If you're here for a long time, it doesn't really matter. If you're here for a short time, you really gotta search to find stuff to do. I made the best of it. I went to La Riviera. That is the buffet here on site and it was outstanding. It was unreal. They had a taco station, they had a pizza station, they had a poke bowl station, they had a burger station, they had a crepe station. They had every station you could think about. It was absolutely unreal. One of the best buffets I've ever had in my entire life. I didn't have a poke bowl, I had a poke plate. I also had a plate of fruit. I tried to be healthy. And then I absolutely negated that by having my own personal pepperoni pizza. After that, I promptly went to the gym. It is small, depressingly small, especially given the size and stature of this compound. I was the only one in there, which made it okay. But if there would have been more than two people in there, it would have been quite awkward. Today, there was a silver lining though. After the gym, I sauntered back. I was just kind of moseying around the property and I stumbled across uh, the Lazy River Bar. I didn't even expect it. I was thinking like a lazy river, like an American lazy river where there are tubes and a snake river. No, this place is spectacular. I didn't even plan on spending any time there and it was so cool I had to take a look around. I ended up spending a half hour there. I can't wait to go back either tomorrow or the next day or show it to you. It could easily be the very best feature about this property. And that leads me to right now, it's night number two. I'm off to dinner tonight. I'm thinking Mexican. El Patio is the name. They have a lot of unique dishes on the menu. I'm quite excited for it. I'm also quite excited for the remaining next two days. I have a lot to get to. Day number three here at Secrets Royal Beach. Huge day planned today, perhaps my biggest day. Tonight for dinner, yes, I'm already talking about dinner. I am doing something just for you. It's something I have not done in over a decade. I don't know how I feel about it. Again, it's for you, and we're gonna find out together. Before I get to that, I need to hop to my day. 
Basically, I've been waiting three days to get to today. Multiple pools, there's the beach, there's some bars to find, maybe a restaurant. Basically, I have to explore the entire campus today. Before I get to that, I do want to highlight last night, there were three things that really comprised my evening. Uh, number one, El Patio, which is the Mexican restaurant here. It was beautiful, it had a gorgeous open floor layout, tall, dramatic ceilings, and the food was outstandingly fresh. Favorite dish of the night was the giant quesadilla. Can't really call it giant compared to the burger last night, but it was delicious. And then my favorite drink was the Sammy Sosa. It's my second Sammy Sosa in as many nights. I'm pretty lucky that drink doesn't have a lot of popularity where I'm from. It would definitely get me into trouble. Before El Patio, I did go to Showtime Bar again. That's where they have the show every night at 9 p.m. But I went during an off hour, so you can kind of see what it's like during kind of regular times, during casual times. And it's definitely casual. It's more laid back, um, it's more relaxed, it's easier to get a drink and just hang out and talk. So if you are looking for a pre or post dinner drink, you should definitely consider Showtime Bar. Lastly, towards the end of the night, I did get hungry again, surprise, surprise, and I wanted to put the room service to the test. I wanted to see how good the food was. I have not had a bad meal, or really bad dish, since I've been here, and I wanted to see how room service was. I ordered off the premium menu. That's the menu that only preferred guests get access to. There's not that much difference between the preferred menu and the premium menu. Only four additional premium entrees are what comprise the premium menu. I ordered two of them the salmon and the steak. And like I said, although the food here has been outstanding, they were the worst dishes I've had all stay. If you're looking at the room service menu and you're wondering if the preferred menu is worth it, it's not, not at all. All right, so that was the quiet pool. That's where we started things off. We're gonna ramp things up. As if being 21 plus and the most romantic hotel in Putacana isn't enough to keep things pretty tranquil and calm, they have a quiet pool. And trust me, it is true to its name. There isn't a peep. So if you want a literally quiet pool experience, head to the quiet pool. Uh, the standard pool was great. It was huge. For a standard pool, it was tremendous. It had an infinity pool. It had some cabanas. There was a swim-up bar. I quite enjoyed my time there. If I didn't know about the Lazy River Bar and Infinity Pool, I'd be very impressed with this. But there is a Lazy River Bar and there is an infinity pool. And I'm on my way over there. Wow, what a day today. Three pools, one lazy river, six specialty cocktails. It was absolutely my best day so far here in Punta Cana. And the best thing still might be on the horizon for tonight. I'm going to Japanese and I'm doing hibachi, teppanyaki just for you. It's something I did not want to do because the Japanese menu here looks to be the best of all the restaurants here. But this is secrets, it's special. So I want to do something special and also something that I haven't done in a long time. I'm running very late for dinner and I cannot miss this reservation. There's no wiggle room, so I have to bounce. But in the morning, I'll tell you both about dinner 
and the pools. For dinner, I did hibachi. I was really looking forward to it because I had not done it in over a decade. It was a disappointment. What I am used to for hibachi is a smaller crowd, and then that smaller crowd allows the chef to make more meals and also allows him to, to display more of his talents. Because the group was so large, I'd say between 14 and 20, the chef only made one meal, and if he had any tricks up his sleeve, he did not show any of them. If I had to go back to the Japanese place, I would absolutely order off the menu. It was the best menu I saw out of all the restaurants. Because Hibachi only served one dish last night, I got hungry later in the night, so I wanted to try room service again. I ordered four items. I tried the hummus, which was bad. I tried the paninis, which were below average. And then I tried the burger, which was average at best. I think I finally found a chink in the armor here at Secrets, and that is the room service food. It just isn't that good. So that was my day yesterday. It was definitely the best day I've had so far here in Putacana. Today, my last day, I have a few things left that I want to do. And the first thing I want to do is get to the beach. Okay, night number four here at Secrets Royal Beach. I am off to the best restaurant on site. This place is so exquisite, they make you wear a collared shirt. So I am lucky that I brought one. Uh, the Preferred Club, I finally found it. There are two Preferred Clubs. The one in the lobby doesn't count. You're gonna go there twice. Once on check-in and once on check-out. But the Preferred Club was right underneath my nose the entire time. It is next to the Preferred Beach which is where I was today, and it's next to the preferred beach and Lazy River, which is where I was yesterday. Uh, the lounge was stunning, it was spectacular. All white, it overlooked the infinity pools, so you can keep your eye on all the action. It overlooked the beach, so you can keep your eye on all the action. If you are at either of those two spots, enjoying the weather, but it gets too hot, or if it becomes inclement, you can come inside and cool down, take a load off, have a drink, get some food. Just relax in a really picturesque, stunning spot. And that leads me to right now, it's my last night here. I did save the best restaurant for last. It's one of my favorite cuisines of all time. Yes, I'm talking French. And yes, I'm headed to Bardot. Alright, let's talk Secrets Royal Beach, one of the best hotels in the entirety of Punta Cana. Actually, let me touch on dinner very quickly last night, Bardo. Uh, Bardo was unbelievable. It was outrageously lavish. And I never thought I'd ever use those words to describe a restaurant at an all-inclusive. This could have been a standalone restaurant in pretty much any big city in America. Just to test the chef, I ordered the most difficult dish on the menu, the lamb chops, and they came out perfectly. 
The portions were a little small, just like they would be at any high-end French restaurant, but the good thing here, it's all-inclusive, and you can just order more. On my way back from dinner last night, I just took a stroll around this campus, and it is beautiful. The way the pools are lit up at night, the way the buildings glow in the distance, this is a really special property. I'm gonna rate this property at the end of the video. I'm gonna talk about who this property is for. I'm gonna talk about the highlights of each part. And I'm also gonna talk about if preferred club is worth it. I've gone back and forth on that the entire time. The rating is easy. Who this hotel is for is easy. Is preferred club worth it? Is it worth the extra $100 a day per person? I'll tell you at the end of this video. Okay, the standouts of this property, it's five star through and through. The rooms are five star, the grounds are five star, the service is five star, everything is five star. And what was really a standout to me is how consistent the property was. It delivered in each one of those facets. This property didn't cut corners on service, it didn't cut corners on the rooms or the food or the pool. Every major feature of this property is five star. So the pools were sensational and spectacular. There were three different ones and you could choose one based off your mood or what you wanted from the day. The beach was marvelous. The sands were white and squishy and soft. It was one of the better beach hotels I've ever been to. There were a medley of restaurants and the four main ones each had a different type of cuisine, a different type of ambiance, and a different type of experience. Also, the ultra-friendly staff with the responsive butler service on your phone just made attending to your needs very simple, and it really made you feel special here. Food and drinks were a huge standout here also. Uh, premium food and drinks are the standard here, where at other all-inclusives, premium food and drinks don't even exist. Okay, who is this property for? This property is for couples, but not just any couple. I think it fits a few different genres. Uh, number one, special occasions. So we're talking birthdays, anniversaries, honeymoons. I saw a litany of those across my four days here. And to take that a step further, I think this is a special vacation spot. If you're a couple that adventures a lot, travels a lot, vacations a lot, and you are maybe stuck in a routine or looking for something different or special, I think coming here to Secrets Royal Beach would absolutely rejuvenate your couple's vacationing. Before I give my rating on this property, I do want to talk about Preferred Club. I had no idea that there was a separate exclusive club, which basically gives you access to higher end amenities here at Secrets Royal Beach. I had no idea. I just thought all inclusive was all inclusive, but there is a Preferred Club and that does get you club access, access to additional restaurants and access really to a separate portion of Secrets. And I'm talking the Lazy River Bar, two infinity pools, another swim up bar, and a preferred club lounge that overlooks all the pools and the beach. And only preferred club guests can get to those spots. Is it worth it? When I first got here after my first day, I thought it was absolutely worth it. I thought it was a major enhancement to the trip. And then after being here for a couple days, I really didn't see the value in it. And as I talk to you today, I'm gonna put it like this. If you are here for a week, I think you absolutely wanna get preferred club because it's gonna add some diversity and some variety to your trip. If you were here for less than a week, maybe three, four, five days, not getting Preferred Club access is gonna detract from your trip at all. So will Preferred Club enhance your trip? Absolutely, it will take it to the next level. If you don't get it, are you missing out? Not in the least. All right, Secrets Royal Beach. How do I rate this property? There were a few drawbacks for me. Firstly, the bathroom was shockingly small. I get that this is an intimate hotel, but given the size of the rooms, uh, the bathroom, again, was just absurdly small. I did not even have enough space on my vanity, on my single vanity, to put my bathroom stuff. And I'm a guy. And the other drawback for me is that the hotel is a little large. It's a little bland and it is a little cookie cutter. Now I get that's the way most all-inclusives are. And for an all-inclusive couples only resort, this hotel definitely does a great job of having a little bit of personality and a little bit of character. But as a standalone hotel, and I rate it against the other hotels I've been to, it just does lack a little bit of moxie and a little bit of cachet for me. I wish there were more things to do at night. There aren't a lot of bars and lounges, and though you do have access to Dreams, which is right next door, I think you're gonna run into kind of the same thing that I ran in here. Really large, kind of cookie cutter. And I get that this is a couple's all-inclusive resort and nightlife may not be the biggest priority, but I met a lot of couples that closed down the pool and closed down the restaurants and were looking for something else to do. All right, so how do I rate this place? I quite enjoyed my time here. 
Uh, it's luxurious, it's classy, it's upscale. If you're a couple looking for a tremendous experience with premium food and drinks, premium food and drinks everywhere, outstanding restaurants, and you don't even have to make a reservation for them. Just walk right in. With that being said, I'm gonna give it a four. It's a definite. It's one of the best hotels in Putacana, and if you're looking for a tremendous stay, a guaranteed stay, at one of the best hotels you can get, you absolutely need to come to Secrets Royal Beach, Putacana.